If you want to create a Google form where the input of one field depends on the input of a previous field, it can be quite tricky. But it is possible. Let me show you how. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you are new to Google Forms, I highly recommend you check out my previous video how to create professional Google Forms. The link is in the video description below. Let's say I want to create a registration form that captures the email ID of the person, his full name, the area that he belongs to and the club. And finally, a yes or no question, are you a club officer? This field the area, I want it as a drop down and let's say I have three areas to choose from. So the person filling the form will get a drop down here asking to choose between area 1, area 2 and area 3. And depending on what input is given here, this drop down should change automatically. If the person chose area 1, then the choices here will be limited to these three names, Dreamers Club, Sunshine Club and Morning Club. Similarly, if you chose area 2 in this question number 3, then these are the four options that will be available in the field for the club. And finally, if you chose area 3, then these are the three options that will be available in the question number 4. Now, how can we create something like this using Google Forms? So this is my Google form. I've already created the first two fields, email ID and full name because they are normal fields. So let's start with the third field, which is which area do you belong? And let me add that field by clicking on the plus sign. And in the question, I will type which area do you belong? And from this drop down, I can either choose to make it multiple choice or a drop down. For this example, let's keep it multiple choice. And I will choose the first option as area 1, area 2, and area 3. I can choose to add the option add others. If the person does not belong to any one of these areas, he can choose other and then type his area number. The next thing is to have the drop down for the club. But because we have different drop downs depending upon the area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create sections. Now, what are sections? I will first create a section for area one. And I do that by clicking on this option, which says add section. Let me title this section as area one clubs. In this section, I will create the field to represent the clubs from area 1. So the question I will ask is, which club? And the clubs from area 1 are Dreamers Club, Sunshine Club, and Morning Club. I will not use the other option for this because the clubs in area 1 are fixed. There are only three options. Again, I can choose to keep this multiple choice or use a drop down. Again, let me keep it multiple choice. The behavior for both is the same. The only difference is if you use multiple choice, all the three options will be visible to the person filling the form. And if you use drop down, then he has to click the drop down to choose one of the three options. Similarly, I will create another section for area 2 clubs. Again, add a section and do the same thing. I've created a section similar to area 1 club and I filled up all the four club names. Again, I'll create one more section for area 3 clubs. And once again, I have finished the section for area three clubs and listed all the three clubs in that section. And the final question is a simple yes, no question. Are you a club officer? 
and to add that question in my form let me add a final section and i will call it final confirmation and add one field which says are you a club officer and let me choose yes and no type of question and my form is done now we need to connect this properly so that if the person chooses area 1 then I show only the clubs in area 1 and the way I do that is I come to this first section where the question is which area do you belong to and I click on these three dots and choose the option to go to a section based on answer so if the person filling this form chooses area 1 then from this drop down let me say go to section 2 which is the area 1 clubs if the person chooses area 2 then go to section 3 which is the area 2 clubs if he chooses area 3 then we go to section 4 which is the area 3 clubs if the person chooses other we can directly send him to the final confirmation section where he chooses whether he's a club officer or no i need to do the same thing when he chooses his area so for example once the person is entering his club name in area one i will choose go to section based on answer whichever club that he chooses we will then send him to the final confirmation section so all three options i will choose the same response i'll do the same thing for area two clubs choose go to section based on answer and regardless of which club that he chooses we will send him to the final section and the same thing for area three clubs let us test this form to see how it looks and to do that i can click on the preview button and this is what the person filling the form will see so let's say he chooses area one and clicks next you can see now that the person has to choose between only one of the three clubs from area one and whichever club he chooses he will now go to the final section which is are you a club officer he says yes submit similarly let's try one more time this time he chooses area 3 and click next now only the three clubs of area 3 are available to the person whatever he chooses he goes to the final question and submit so there you have it if you want to present choices based on the previous input make use of the sections and then control which section you jump to based on the input provided to you I hope this helps you to create highly professional forms when you are creating your own Google Forms.